How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and this video is going to be all of the end game icons I believe in this game. There really aren't too many as many icons are pretty brutal That's why when you do the icon pack usually it doesn't turn out to be good So um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video if you do me make sure you leave a like subscribe if you're new to the channel here Appreciate all the support and guys. Let's try to hop into it right now guys I mean, there's really not too many here I'm gonna go over the ones that are obviously the best to get all right and have so let's go to the collection All right, I'm gonna start uh, right now and again guys, you know, this is really all for what they're gonna be like at the end of the game at Let's just say 99 overall and how good I think they're gonna be all right They're already good these cards as well. So definitely they're usable now for sure So uh, starting off with the first card. It's going to be Peter Forsberg icon. Okay, so why do I like Peter Forsberg a lot? So here's Forsberg a uh, 6 1 205 93 overalls is current tier right now So he'll be a 94 in just about a week all right, and that'll be a speed upgrade as well. So it'll be up to 93 speed. All right, so let me crank light the lamp on, and then it'll be up to 95 speed as well, actually, due to the ship you're being active or fly the zone, whatever synergy you'd like to use. All right, then he also has uh, so he has light the lamp, applesauce, protector, booming shy, and bombarded. Buzzing, Spark, Fly Zone, Wingman, Distributor, and then Heart and Soul, and Gladiator, right? So, uh, super good synergies as well. Uh, he's, got, he's got great skating, 91 Excel, good shooting, 93, 95, 95, 97. All right, he's got Puck and a String, Big Rig, Ankle Breaker, No Contest, and then Gold, Unsolvable Force, which is really awesome. Unsolvable Force, Gold is super good, so I really like that on Forsberg a lot. So, I think Forsberg's definitely an endgame icon. Again, there aren't as many, but I think he definitely fits the category of being an endgame one. So, there you go. That's uh, Peter Forsberg, guys. I think he's awesome, right? Moving on to the next one now. And this next one is going to be a defenseman, all right? It's going to be from the Pittsburgh Penguins. And that is going to be Paul Coffey at 92 overall right now. All right, so he's six foot, 205, left-handed shot. All right, so he always starts off as one of the better D-men in the game every year. So why do I like him so much? So Crank Fly the Zone on with Heart and Soul and Protector, all right? So he has 93 Excel. 91 agility, 93 balance, 90 endurance, and 94 speed. Shot is cracked. 96, 95, 95, and 95. A terrific shot on coffee. He also has silver wheels. Take the tape, send it, stick them up, and elite edges. The ones that I really like are stick them up and wheels. Uh, but yeah, he is an awesome car, coffee. His shot's always tremendous, and uh, he's obviously going to be an end game card. I mean, he's going to have a 99 shot. In a few upgrades, all right. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, that's a few, that could be a few months unless he gets a, an upgrade through like an MSP or another event card, which he probably will. I don't think Coffee's gonna actually take, you know, five months to get up to a 99 overall. So, yeah, I mean, this card is uh, tremendous. I like Coffee a lot. He always plays well in game. Six foot two hundred five, pretty optimal build, honestly, for a D man. So, yeah, I like him a lot. Coffee's uh, tremendous every area, pretty much. His defensive stats are 99, 95, so 95. Very, very good stuff, and of course, he'll be getting the plus one, just like Forsberg, uh, as well, and uh, that's how we really want to see as well, so, yeah, Coffee's super good, so definitely recommend him, all right, now moving on to the next card, guys, and this next card is going to be from the Montreal Canadiens, obviously a lot of options here, but I decided to go with Maurice Richard, all right, so Richard, right now, he'll be getting a speed upgrade as well, be 92 speed in about a week, uh, but he also has speed synergies like distributor, so he can be up to 94 speed, all right, when it, once he gets that, so that'll be really nice as well. Uh, but currently, he has 93 Excel, 93 Agility, he'll have 99 Balance, 95 Endurance, all right, he'll have 94 speed with the distributor synergy. He's got a great shot, 93, 95, 99, 96. Obviously, uh, good abilities make it snappy. Big rig, shrug it off, beauty backhand, and gold wheels. That's really one of the biggest reasons why I like him a lot. I think he's endgame. Gold wheels. Can't really argue that. That's a tremendous ability to have. So, uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I think he's really unreal, Maurice Richard. So, definitely would recommend him, guys. So, yeah, he's one of the one of the end game cards for sure. All right, now let's move on to the next card now. And this next card, all right, is definitely uh, one that I I have kind of ignored before in previous icon videos. I am not ignoring him in this video. Timu Solani, I mean, he is unreal. A finish flash. I'm surprised there's any uh, more upgrades. Only 91 overall. It's kind of kind of crazy if you think about it. But 
Uh, right now, he has 95 Excel, 89 Agility, 88 Balance. His Endurance is kind of low in 81, but 95 Speed. But with, of course, he does have Fly the Zone active. He has 97 Speed, which is unreal. All right, Bombarded as well makes a shot get to 94, 94, 93, and 92. So, unbelievable shot on Solani as well. He's got Ankle Breaker, Snipe. Off the rush, and then of course, gold wheels, which we all know, guys. Gold wheels, so good. And uh, Solani is, is one of the best cards you can get for sure when it comes to icons. Again, not many, but he definitely fits the criteria of being an end game card, at least in my eyes. He already might be already an end game card. He's gonna have these 97 speed, that's unbelievable. So, uh, yeah, I like Solani a lot. All right, let's move on to the last two now. I wonder who they're going to be, guys. All right, so. I actually have this guy. It's going to be Mario Lemieux, all right? So, obviously, he's endgame already. Uh, 95 overall. He's 6'4", uh, 225. Well-rounded. A distributor currently active on him. I don't have Applesauce active currently, but that's okay. It doesn't make a huge difference. He has 95 Excel, 99 Agility, 91 Balance, 88 Endurance, 8... I'm oh, sorry, 97 Speed. Yeah, I mean, 87 Speed, good one. 99, 97, 99, and 99 for his shot. I mean, really, what more can you say about this card? It is absolutely just cracked. Such a good guard. I love Lemieux. He's got Shock and Awe, Third Eye, Puck on a String, Snipe, all alone and a gold ankle breaker so i don't have any abilities active on him i don't think his abilities are too great but he don't he doesn't need abilities i mean he's a six four card that's gonna have 99 speed pretty imminently so uh yeah i don't know what you can say about uh lemieux he's only gonna have a speed upgrade he'll be 98 speed in a week so yeah uh pretty ridiculous pretty ridiculous card uh yeah i love lemieux and in, in pretty much every aspect he's so good all right and then last but not least guys to the LA Kings we go, and this one is not going to be Dion, it's not going to be Rob Blake, it's not going to be Robitaille, it's going to be the great one, Wayne Gretzky, alright, so 6 foot, 185, left handed shot, alright, he's got the speed synergies as well, similar card to Lemieux, it'll be the same thing, he'll have 98 speed in a week, alright, so let me just crank all the synergies on right now, uh, besides buzzing, because buzzing obviously affects the agility as well. But, uh, yeah, he, is, he looks amazing regardless, guys. I mean, he looks absolutely ri ri amazing and ridiculous. So, uh, Gladiator uh, and like Lambert are currently active. He's got 95 Excel, 96 Agility, 92 Balance. I mean, his shot is unreal as well. 99, 97, 99, 99. I think it's a better shot than Lemieux a little bit as well. Uh, maybe with your synergies active. But, tape a tape, send it, off the rush, puck on a string, shock and awe, and also third eye are the abilities that are currently active on the great one. Uh, but yeah, I mean, what a card. I mean, 96 face-offs as well. I mean, what a card. Uh, Gretzky is clearly an endgame card, and I believe all those icons that I just listed are the only endgame icon cards that I think that you can have when the game officially falls off. Uh, even at 99 overall, those other guards are probably not really the most desirable ones compared to these, all right? So let me know what you guys think if I'm wrong, if I'm missing anyone. I'm definitely curious. Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. I have other content on the way today. I need to make the hot roll. I need to make the road to Mario, the Super Mario pack series. I'm sorry. I've been getting a little bit busy uh, and not as motivated, but you know what? I will figure it out, guys, and I apologize for the lack of content recently. So hope you guys enjoy this one, though. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe. If you're new here, follow me on Twitch, Henrik. I'm live there every day. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik with three E's. Enjoy the Discord. Talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.